Hey guys, how you doing? VT Master here. So I'm building a new solar power generator. It's going to be 18650 lithium powered. And I want to show you some of the components I have on hand. Still waiting for a lot of stuff to come in through Amazon and some other places. But uh, here we go. Here's some stuff. First of all, we're looking at uh, mostly the 18650 batteries. Going to have 42 of these in series in parallel. And I'm going to put them together through the Verizon battery kit. As you can see in the red and blue Lego-like pieces. But these batteries are pretty good. I've gone through and tested each one. This one right there has 1906 for capacity as far as uh, milliamps. So here's a, a string of batteries put together in parallel. I have six of them. So it's going to be a, what we call a 6P uh, battery. And here are the caps that you put on, red for positive and blue for negative. This is a no solder kit from Verizon. It costs about $30 to get about 50 pieces. It was plenty for the 42 batteries that I have. have a small case I picked up from Tractor Supply. It was $10, very, uh, very reasonable. It's going to work out really well. Here's the top for the Verizon kit. And uh, you put together the... Uh, these metal pieces connect all the batteries and they screw down with stainless steel screws. They're 5.5 millimeters. And some other major components here. You can see, let's take a look at the BMS for the battery. This is essentially the brain. This controls the charging, the discharge. It's also going to uh, charge each string and balance it to make sure that each uh, cell is in balance with each other. And I'll have seven cells in series. And uh, it should work out pretty well. It's pretty small. It's smaller than I thought it would be. But uh, this is something new for lithium. If you never worked in lithium, you definitely need to have a BMS on your packs. And uh, looking forward to hooking that up. Let's take a look at the solar charge controller. This is a very interesting unit right here. Most controllers are uh, powered off the battery, but this one is only powered off the input power source. So I picked this up because it works with lithium really well. So what's nice about this unit is it steps up the voltage and you can control the output of the voltage. So it's really a step up converter that's powered off the input device. So thinking that I'm going to use a 12 volt solar panel, with that in mind I can input 12 volts or higher depending on how hot the panel is. And then I can match it up to the battery by stepping up the voltage. It works out really well. Lots of nice features packed into this solar charge controller. Also going to use it with a wall wart and simulate uh, voltage, 12 volts, 15 volts, wherever I want to input. Let's move along here to the inverter. This is a pure sine wave Ames 300 watt, 24 volt nominal inverter. I purchased this because it's going to work really well with the battery and it has a big range. I think it goes from 21 volts up to 30 volts, so well within the range of the battery. So looking forward to using that. Also have a buck converter here. I'm going to hook up to step down voltage for 12 volt accessories such as USB and some 12 volt sockets going to have hooked up natively to the generator. Look at those heat sinks on it. Pretty big. This thing is going to get hot. One of my uh, buddies on Facebook said that uh, anything over 7 amps is going to create some heat. So I might air cool that or hook up a bigger heat sink. Also have some other accessories here. Here's some capped on tape I'm going to use for the battery. Um, and some heat shrink. This is pretty big stuff to cover the battery. Also have here an Opus BT3100 battery charger discharger. Did a previous video on that. Check it out. Great unit for working with 18650s as well as other types of batteries. So here are my major components. I would be uh, remiss if I didn't mention the book that's in the background. This is uh, an awesome resource. If you don't have this, definitely pick this up. You can get it in paper form as well as on Amazon in the uh, digital form Kindle version I have both and this is an excellent resource it's uh, by an author named uh, Micah Toll he is uh, quite thorough and I didn't really know much about lithium batteries before uh, taking on this project but I read this book and learned a lot and uh, he has an awesome product here so I can't mention enough good things about this book as a resource for building batteries and working with lithium alright guys so there we go here are the major components still waiting for some parts to come in. I'm going to do a future video on building out the 18650 battery using the Verizon kit. So stay tuned for that and we'll catch you next time.